Hey everybody, it's Paul, W1VLF. Welcome back to the lab. Well, I had a couple people ask me about the uh, EMP launcher that I was using the other day, so I thought I'd go through it a little bit. And I don't know, can you see down in there, the bank of capacitors? There's um, 6,000 microfarads at, uh, what is it? Uh, 400, 900 volts, 450 a, a piece. All right. And what happens is when I charge those up, it's a big contactor here. Now this is a 48 volt contactor. It's not designed at all for, for what service I'm putting into it. And sooner or later it's going to blow up. But anyway, um, it's working for now. Um, and here's the coil. It's uh, 0.013 ohms, uh, around 12 microhenries. And here's the puck. This is, uh, I think, about three inches in diameter, a little over three inches in diameter, made out of aluminum. So when this contactor closes, after the capacitors are charged up, uh, anywhere from 100 volts, two, four, six, eight, up to around 1,000 volts, it dumps all that current. Huge flash over here, by the way dumps all that current into this coil and this puck uh, when you dump all the current into the coil you end up with a magnetic field that induces a huge magnetic field into this puck only in the same polarity and like poles so let's say the top of that coil is plus I mean uh, north then the top then the bottom of this the this disc would be north as well and it will because it's because it's because there's a huge magnetic field here and it's essentially a short circuit this disc what's going to happen is uh, you'll end up with a huge magnetic field in the same polarity of what this is and so it'll it'll um, it'll push out and it does so quite violently so let's see if we can get those capacitors if you can see the capacitors in there there's a set of 10 capacitors two in series and five sets in parallel. So what I decided to do was, I wanted to see if I could utilize some of that energy to push a nail through various pieces of board. So here's what we have for the boards that we're gonna experiment with. Uh, first thing we're gonna start off with is, uh, what's that, like three quarter inch pine? Oh, well, that'll, that'll be one. Um, there's a couple of different plywoods here. Oh, that's half inch plywood or three quarters I don't know whatever it is okay and then here's a piece of, uh, of hardwood from an old piano we'll try that and I had a couple other here here's a piece of uh, it's probably eighth inch I'm pretty sure it'll go right through that and then <clears throat> after we do that uh, the grand finale is going to be this piece of um, Mahogany. My friend Nick gave me this piece of mahogany uh, about 10 years ago. It was a scrap from the uh, Ovation factory, uh, guitar factory. So what it's going to look like is this. I'm trying to maneuver around all this junk. Okay, I'm going to probably see that. There's a, the, the nail is going to try to push up through that. And I'm going to put these two 10 pound weights on there, on top. Okay, I'll get them up there so that the, it doesn't obstruct the nail in the likelihood that it makes it up into this, into uh, the, the uh, mahogany here. So, I'll probably, you'll probably hear me talking, but I don't know if I'll be using this camera too much. I'm going to be using this one to do a close up on between the nail and the wood. So let's let's just uh, start off with a, a low voltage. I'll tell you how many volts I'm using that. Oh, that's another thing you might want to see. Here's where I me measure. And the meter is here, okay? And this is what I use to charge. It's a momentary switch which I push up and it charges. 
And what I'm doing here is, I don't know if that's going to jump or not. Oh, look at that. Tiny, tiny bit stuck in, even with just a couple hundred volts. Anyway, that's how I key that big contactor over there. All right, so I'm not advising anybody to do this at home. I think that's just barely stuck in there, yeah. I'm not advising anybody to try this at home, but it looks like a lot of fun to me, and I'm crazy, so I'm going to give it a shot. All right, so let me go back with uh, some close-ups with the other camera, and we'll start off with the different kinds of woods and see what it takes to push that nail up through some of these pieces of wood. Again, that's a uh, big giant chunk. Well, let's see how big giant chunk, how thick that really is. More here. All right, where the hell is it? There it is. All right, so it's, uh, what is that? Two and three quarters? Just under two and three quarters worth of, uh, of mahogany. It's pretty dense. This weighs a few pounds, this piece of wood. All right, let me let me do that and um, get set up with the other camera. We'll start blasting some nails up into this wood and just see how far we can. All right, I'm going to assume uh, that you guys can see that. And I'm going to go back here. Actually, I don't know what you can see. Let's see what I can see. I'm going back here. Okay. And I'm going to charge up to, I don't know, let's just try 100 volts. Turn the meter on first. Okay. All right, that's 200. I'm going to let it come back down. We'll try at 150 and see if we can force that nail up through there. Here we go. Three, two, one. Well, I guess that's pretty... Pretty convincing. Alright, try and push that out. Okay, so the eighth inch plywood was no challenge whatsoever. Oh, let's put that back on. and get another piece of wood. Here's a piece of quarter inch. Quarter inch. Okay, put it on there. I need to put my weight on top so it doesn't go flying up into the air. And that looks like about, about right. So let's charge up again. Let's see, we're up at, uh, I don't know, 200 volts. Let's see what, let's see what 200 volts does. No, didn't quite make it. That's a bummer. Oh, it started to come out though. All right. Oh, geez, that's it's pretty hard to get out of there. All right. There's quarter inch plywood. Second try. Put our weight on top. I guess I'll try about 300 volts this time. See if I can get that to go up in there. All right, here we go. Hmm. Well, went up on an angle. I don't think that's good enough, though. We got to try a little bit more. Hang on. Try number three on three quarter, uh, half inch plywood. It's pretty good, huh? Let's take the nail back out. The nail got a little bit better. Moving on to uh, the top of a piano, uh, top of a piano. I don't know what the hell to say. Some kind of hardwood though. So we'll load up again. 
Oops, gotta put these weights on, otherwise we'll be in trouble. It's about 20 pounds. Okay, here goes. We're going for uh, four, 500 volts this time. Go. Ah, damn it. I hit one of the, ooh. Wrecked a nail. Stand by. Well, let me take it off first. Yeah, would have went in there if I hadn't hit the uh, steel block here. Well, I'm going to get another nail and I'll be right back. All right. This is piano board. Try number three. All right, piano board. Try number four. 500 volts. Here we go. It's 450, 550, three, two, one. Perfect. Right up, right up through there. Let's take a closer look. I think I'm pointing right here. All right, the grand finale. Okay, no nails. All right, let's see what happens. I'm gonna move that off a little bit, just in case. All right, we're gonna go for about a thousand volts this time, all the beams. Seven hundred. Holy shit. <laughs> Talk about the power of capacitors. Yeah, and the little aluminum puck here is now got some dents in it. Oh well, we'll have to find something a little more challenging to shoot into. There it is. No, oh, there's still 29 volts left. That's it. All right, guys, that's it from W1 VLF and the nail, the nail gun.